Hey guys, how's it going? It's a height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Oxygen Not Included. And guys, check it out. We've got this thing mostly automated. I was able to figure out a way to do it, and I think what I've done here is pretty good. We've got these storage bins here. They're set at priority five, and my little dude bros are told to go there and put in igneous and sedimentary rock which is what these guys eat then this thing the auto sweeper automatically takes stuff and puts it into here now the duplicates are not allowed to put stuff in here non-manual but it is at priority nine so anything in these will want to get pushed into there then that just pushes stuff into these little conveyor receptacles if we go in here you can see it and dang we are getting so much coal look at our coal we're up to 102 tons guys look at all that coal so good so then i've got sweepers in here obviously taking the food out of there putting it in the critter feeder and also picking up the coal and also picking up well, actually, that's it. Oh, no, eggs. Also picking up eggs. So it's picking up all that stuff. But you guys have spooked me a little bit. You told me in the comments of my last video that most of my food was probably going bad. And I think you're probably right. Um, What's flooding? What in the heck is this? Oh, yeah. So here's my oil biome. I've managed to get down here. I don't actually need this on right now. Let's disable that. I, I got a little bit of salt water down here. It's super annoying, but it is what it is. I don't know. I mean, it just is what it is, guys. <laughs> so anyway, what we're working on here is this is where I think I'm going to take my new food to. Insufficient oxygen. No, we're fine. We're fine. Um, because we are no longer, we have no slime left, so we are no longer producing mushrooms. This is just not a thing anymore. So, this whole thing is going to have to get reused for something else. I mean, there's a huge space here. We can do something with it. But for now, I want to start working on a kitchen that uses a barbecue and also a cooling system, like a freezer. And this thing down here is already... A, a cold room essentially so I don't think it would take too much to just turn this into a freezer I should probably hmm I should probably stop this heat from screwing up that area I would imagine then the only problem is how do I actually get down there uh, it's going to be a little weird. I might have to put a door in here. I'm not sure how this is going to exactly work. But for now, I got to start by getting all this polluted oxygen out of here so that I can actually use this as part of my base. So all I've done is just, you know, the typical get a bunch of floors going. We're going to get some of these things going and actually... For now, maybe I will just cancel this. And put in these. Just for now. We gotta get the polluted oxygen out. So I think that at least is a start. So we're up to 19 duplicates. And I wouldn't be opposed to getting up to 20. But I think I just want to wait until until our cooler room is going now you guys are telling me what i needed to actually do that and i forget what it was thermal regulator cools gas pipe through it i think it's this i think it's this so this thing is what we're going to use to cool down this space even farther it's already pretty cold but it's not cold enough and I'm not sure how we want to do this exactly, but I think what is going to have to happen... Oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? You know what? Let's get this polluted oxygen out of here first thing. I'm going to have to sweep up all of this water or whatever I can. 
Oh, this is gross. I wonder if I should just mine out this floor. I maybe should. Or we can just put in a floor up at the top. Maybe that's the best way to go. I'll put in a new floor up here and this one will have fully insulated tile. And this can be my little freezer room. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. All right, so we're getting all of this cleaned up. I know the next thing we want to work on is the meat's going to come down. I think I'm going to have a killing chamber. I think I'm going to have a killing chamber right in here with the incubators, probably. And then from there, the meat can come down. Actually, no. There's no reason I should have it up here. I should keep the food area, like where they're going to actually eat up higher and closer to the middle of the base. Yeah, so then we'll pump the eggs all the way down here. This will be where the killing chamber will be. I think. I think that's good. And then... I don't know how exactly I'm going to do this, but I'm thinking the freezer will be on one side. I'll put an airlock in and then I can barbecue on this side. And if I'm going to barbecue on this side, then I don't need this and we don't need this. Oh, actually, I should deconstruct that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we can bring a barbecue food. Where is the gas range? I think this is the thing we want to cook with, right? Requires natural gas. Oh, yes. I forgot about the natural gas part. I'm going to have to bring natural gas over here. Where is my natural gas? It's all over here. So... Um, hang on. We're already filtering it a bunch, so really all I should have to do is just bring another pipe across. Like across the entire base with some bridges as required. And uh, that's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of things. I'm not going to want it to go through that insulation, I don't think, because then it'll get all hot. Oh, I actually want to go down with it. I was thinking I don't want it to go through this insulation, but we shouldn't have to. It's got to go way down. So we'll bring it in and down here somewhere. Something like that. That's a good place to start anyway. Oh, and I don't know what happened here. Oh, we got a bridge there, of course. Okay, so that's gonna start bringing some natural gas all the way across, which is fine. Oh my God, this thing is getting so full. Let's dig some more of this out of here. That is gross. <laughs> we have so much water. I've almost emptied this. Actually, it is empty now. Great. Wonderful. Oh man, our steam room is actually working again. Look at that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I've, I've stopped doing this part because you guys had talked about potentially making petroleum, which I'm not sure exactly how to do yet. Um, is that something I need a piece of equipment for how do i get to research again i know there's a button for it but it's always faster for me just to let's get some food for now i always come up here to find research i don't know what the actual button is okay so what am i trying to do refine fossil fuels oil refinery is this what i want Oil refinery converts crude oil into petroleum and natural gas. OK, 
converts either petroleum or ethanol into power. Natural gas generator. Petroleum. Okay. Uh, so I think we need this oil refinery to make petroleum and does it how hot can it go refinement where is that thing oil refinery what does it produce produces natural gas oh that is annoying actually oh no i don't want this to be filled up with polluted <laughs> oxygen oh, oh boy oh well it is what it is now i don't know what is producing chlorine but something is producing chlorine is it it's got to be something that's on the ground because i have pumped the chlorine out of this room so many times that all of my reservoirs are full of chlorine and it's building up again it's literally building up i can't stop it it just won't stop so i might end up getting to a point where i have to just start pumping this stuff into space to get rid of it i don't know what to do with it we found wait what is this what is i was just about to say we found the top of the world because i found it over here or i thought i did but then it looks like i also found something over here what is this lobby doors hang on a tick what is this can we get in here oh my god what have we discovered and this thing a large modern sculpture that sits in the center of the lobby decor plus six we can just demolish all this oh we can inspect stuff I copied this message into my net database. Thermo nullifier promo brought to you by Gravitas. What? Who is burning? Wait, is it hot up here? Oh, it is very hot up here. Uh oh, what have I done? Cancel. Why is it so hot? I think we made a mistake. I've breached the temperature gap. I wonder if it would have been better to go through here. Right through the floor. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna need suits to get in there. Okay, whatever, it's fine. I don't even care. We'll leave it for now. Man, I have so many things that I have to get done. Okay. How are things looking in here? We're getting rid of some polluted oxygen. Looks good, looks good. Okay, let's start setting up the area for cooking. So this area is going to have a barbecue. I think I only need one. Now, I don't know how much power this thing takes. It's probably a lot. Uh, oh, it's only 240 watts. Okay, it's not so bad. So then we'll stick a light in here as well, just to make sure that whoever is in here can cook faster, I guess. Where's the light bulbs? Furniture! Here we go. We'll stick it right on top of here. What is this? Oh, there's a liquid pipe in there. What does this thing produce? I'm not even sure. Anyway, for now, I might... Oof. What's the power consumption in this wire? Potential load. Oh my god. Potential load 4,000. 
That's a lot of potential load. Um, I think what's gonna end up having to happen then... Or what about this line? That's quite a bit less. That's quite a bit less. I mean, not all of this stuff's gonna be running at the same time. So maybe for now... I mean, we don't even have to hook it up. We don't even have to hook it up. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, let's just leave it unhooked for now. Right? I think. I don't know where the gas goes into that thing. Uh, can we... There we go. Right there. Just like that. Okay. That should work out nicely. Then once we get all of that out of there, what I'm gonna have to do is cool off some air. Now, I'm not sure how this thing actually works. The thermal regulator. Does it just dissipate heat into space? Is that all it does? Because if that's all it does, and I only need this area to be cool, I think we gotta dig this out. And I think I need to cancel that build. Plumbing. No, I don't need plumbing. I need a ladder. I don't know why I have these two ladders right side by side, but I want this to be a straight ladder. In fact, once this is all set up, I could probably carry this ladder down. Ooh, it's going to be right beside the barbecue, though. This can actually probably move, too. Maybe I should cancel all of this until I get a better idea of how this room's going to lay out. I also still really want to make a bulk storage facility somewhere. And I'm wondering if... Well, maybe around the volcano is probably not the best way to do it. Or the best place to do it. Maybe eventually this area up here... Or even like, yeah, right in here. Or even down a little bit right in here. Maybe this could be our bulk storage facility. And we can just dump everything in our base into that spot. And then use that as a like better area to actually store things. Rather than just stuff everywhere like this. Oh, it's really gross. What I should have done, looking back at it now, is start digging from the top and working my way down. Because then all of this stuff would just would just be on one layer. And I wouldn't have to go and clean up every single layer one layer at a time. So maybe going forward, once I've figured out where I want to start digging down from, that's what we'll do. Oh, we found another room up here. Okay. Interesting. What is this? A ladder? Uh-oh. Who's making a mess? Why are you making a mess? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a tick. Why are you stuck? Are you stuck down there? Oh my god. These guys are all stuck down here. This is awful. Guys. What in the heck is this thing? A smooth hatchling matures into an adult hatch morph. The smooth hatch, which loves nibbling on different types of metal. Diet, copper ore, 100 kilograms per cycle. Okay, so it eats metal. That's all it eats? It only eats metal? Gold amalgam, iron ore, wolf metal. And it spits out refined metal? At 75%. Is that better than this? Is it... I don't know how this thing works. Is it one to one? 100 kilograms of copper ore. Gives you 50 kilograms of copper. So hang on. This thing actually refines metal better than this thing? Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How about this one? Okay, it's not better than this one. All right, well, then, sorry, you're gonna have to go. I don't, I'm not feeding this thing metal. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, seriously, guys, I can't, 
Uh, the chlorine. There's so much chlorine. I don't know where it's coming from. Clay? Does clay make chlorine? What is making chlorine? I can't figure it out. I literally don't know. It's coming from something. I remember reading it once, but I don't know what it was. And I can't figure it out, but it's building up so much pressure in my base. I have to start getting rid of it. So what I'm going to do temporarily just to get rid of it is just pump it out into here. I don't care. It's got to go. So we're just going to pump it outside. Increase the priority of that so that it actually gets built. And I, I mean, I just got to get rid of it. There's nothing else we can do with it right now. I don't know where else to put chlorine. I, I could probably put chlorine. Is it okay? Thermal conductivity. 0 0.48 and 0.008. Okay, so this stuff is twice as good, but I wonder if putting chlorine in the fridge is pro is probably not a good idea. Chlorine, germ killing. I feel like maybe putting chlorine in the freezer is a good idea. To keep the germs down and stop it from... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try it. We can swap it out later. I, I, let's see what happens. I gotta get some room first things first though. We need a shut off. Is there just a way I can turn this thing on and off manually? Gas valve, I think that's what I want. There we go. Let's put that in place. And I'll just turn it on and off once we have enough out. All right, here we go. We're gonna start pumping chlorine out of our base. There's just so much of it. I'm gonna dump probably two tanks of this stuff. I don't know, we need room. I don't know where it's coming from. Hopefully this chlorine will actually kill some of this bacteria as well. Oh, I just realized I probably shouldn't be pumping this out so close to the door. Because all that's going to do is put chlorine into this room. It's fine. These rooms are going to be connected soon anyway, so... That little bit that leaks through the door is not so bad. And this should fall. It should fall down here. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Honestly, having a little bit of chlorine in this room is probably not so bad. Because it, it should help kill... <laughs> it should help kill the bacteria. Yeah, 29%. I don't know how to tell where it's killing it faster, but it should be, in theory. Oh my god, my duplicates have managed to breach the surface of our rocky prison. I should be careful, this region is extremely inhospitable. I could easily lose resources to the vacuum of space. Oh, this is perfect. This is actually what we want. I think. Are we losing stuff now? You know what? Actually, I should deconstruct this. And put a door up here that I can open and close when I want. Just to make sure we're not, we're not just going to lose stuff forever. What is happening out there? Oh my god? Is there just metal on the surface? Oh my god, what is happening? Is it breaking this stuff? Iron. Hang on a minute. We might need a bunker or something up there. Right? I was wondering what this door was for. Oh my god. We don't have any steel to make that. Hopefully, this is not going to be an issue. Oh my god. Alright, I guess it's time to turn this thing off. We had, um... 
We pumped out way more chlorine than I wanted to, but we're just going to get it back anyway, so it's whatever. There's so much chlorine, guys. It's fine. This thing's just running constantly. It's going to bring more chlorine. My little buddies should turn that off soon, hopefully, and then all this chlorine that we pulled out of our base should just kind of flow down into here. Oh my gosh. Pretty soon, we're going to have to start pumping it up to the surface. I don't think we're going to have an option. It's just going to get too crazy down here. But we'll leave it for now. Mafic rock. Regolith. We're finding all sorts of new stuff here. All right. How is our germ situation looking? It's looking not too bad. Let's sweep this up. And then where is that ladder? The ladder is there. So let us deconstruct. We may as well connect all of this together now. What in the heck? That autosave does some weird stuff sometimes, doesn't it? Okay. Let us build that there and then I think what I'm gonna do is actually deconstruct deconstruct and we can send this ladder down its merry old way all right so we've got almost all the polluted oxygen out there's just this little bit right along the top and then we just have to wait for the germs to die so that shouldn't take too much longer we can actually start working on the fridge room now, I think. So we don't need any of this. And we don't need any of that. Okay. So the fridge is going to be just a little room here in the corner. And I believe what I need... I think... I'm not sure how this is going to work exactly. But we might be able... To to get a vacuum in here. Can they go under one tile? How do these vacuums actually work? Let's see here. My best one that I've made so far was right here. Up two over one. Okay, let's see. All right, guys, I think I found the culprit of my chlorine problems. It's called bleach stone. So what I'm going to do, actually, let's cancel that. What I'm going to do is put a storage bin out here. Maybe a few, actually. I don't know how much of this. I don't know how much bleach stone I have, but I'm going to try and get it all out of my base if I can. And hopefully that solves the problem. I'm seeing clay, 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 clay. I had some bleach stone sitting right here. And look at that. It's emitting 15.8 grams per second. So I want that out of here. So we're going to take this. We are going to set this to be, I don't even know. Bleach stone. And we'll set the priority to nine. So if there's bleach stone anywhere around, they'll want to... Put it in there and get it out of my base. Hopefully that stops this from happening. It's working so far. I don't know how much of that stuff I actually have. But if there's any bleach stone anywhere, it should be leaving my base now. So I should stop building chlorine gas. There's some down there. Oh my god, no wonder, no wonder that was happening. That's horrific. Okay, I think we've got the issue resolved now, so that's great. I've got this pitcher pump here. Um, let us put... Do I want oil? Water? Salt water? Maybe salt water? Water water? If I put water water there, they should be able to actually get some. Bec 
because wherever this pump is here we go yeah we got 8.8 .8 tons of water available so they should be able to move that now hopefully wait a minute i don't want it to be water it'll turn to ice if it's water um okay new plan what do i want to use instead I need a new plan. What about... Okay, this might be a little bit unorthodox, but what about a hydrogen airlock instead? And then we deconstruct all of this. We have to flip it upside down. I don't know. I've never made a hydrogen airlock, but it should work the same, but upside down, hopefully. All right, guys, we finally connected this base into our other one. There's still a little bit of slime lung up here. Uh, there's still a little bit up here, but I'm not doing any work up there. I've locked this door now, so no one can go in or out of there. That slime lung should die off eventually. Um, what we're going to do now is get some pump. Get a pump. Stick it in here. And then what we need to do do is filter co2 this thing shouldn't ever have anything but co2 in it so let's just actually take it and plumb it uh maybe i want to go down oh no we do not want to go down hang on how do i want to do this we got another We've got another thing that we have to deal with here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go up. We're going to go up. Like... This. And then we're going to come right across. Connect into here, but then we'll deconstruct this stuff for now. Uh, maybe not all of that. We'll leave that part. Then we'll stick this pipe down in here with a gas valve. Okay, and we've got a little hydrogen airlock in here. I think this should work. I'm hoping it will. So now... That's going to send stuff in. This one's going to send it out just until this room is full of carbon dioxide. Hang on. I didn't think this through. We got to deconstruct this. I'm going to have to put a filter. I know these things use a lot of power, but temporarily, that's what we're going to do. If it's CO2, it's going to go right back in there. Otherwise, it's going to just come and get dumped out for now. That's what we will do. All right. There we go. So that should fix that. Okay, this room is full of carbon dioxide. There's a little bit of hydrogen there that I want to get out. It shouldn't take too long. All right, that looks good. We've got a fully black room. This little bit in here by the hydrogen lock is also black. That should work out nicely. So now we can actually do away with this filter. We don't need it anymore. We don't need this. Uh, what else do we not need? We can actually turn this off too for now. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Okay, now what we want to do, I, I think, this part I'm not super sure about, is hook up one of these... I don't know how this actually is going to work. Um, what is happening? Oh, oh, how did you get up there? What are you doing? You are in a lot of trouble. What are you doing up there? Dig. Man, what the heck were you doing up there? Okay. I think we've overted that crisis for now. Why? Wait, what? Man, that is kind of glitchy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, whatever, it's fine. Oh my god. Okay, so now I think what we want to do 
is get one of these utilities thermal regulator and i believe all that happens is we just dump heat i think i think we just dump heat into here um Do I leave this on? You know what we could do? Ah, uh, that's fine. I don't- I just don't know how this works. Cools gas pipe through it, but outputs heat. So does it- is it just gonna make this area hot? It might. And if that's what it's gonna do- I mean, I'm not too worried about it right now, but we could, I guess, run a cooling loop over here. I don't really want to pump this cold air all the way across the base where our cooling loop is so I think we're just gonna dump heat into this area and hope for the best I don't know we'll see what happens okay so we'll turn this one back on why is this one not working oh the pipe is blocked okay so we'll turn we'll turn that one back on it should start pumping more gas into that room which will help us I think we can actually close this door now. Auto. There we go. I think that's going to work out nicely. So then this thing should start pumping its air down and into this guy. I hope. Oh, we're going to need power into here, aren't we? It's probably going to take a lot of power, which I don't even have. Let's just do that for now. And I just realized this thing is pumping mixed things in. Ah, oh, what a pain in the butt. Okay, so we're going to need a filter. I hate this so much. In there. Deconstruct that. The output. I knew I should have been more careful with this, but here we are. So we'll put this there like that. That thing's going to need power now. All right. There we go. That should fix the problem. Looking good. Looking good. Enable. How does it look in here? We don't have that much CO2 actually. We've been kind of removing it. So I'm wondering, hang on, to fix this, we'll just deconstruct that real quick. And we'll put one in down here. Now what I would like is to keep this pump pumping carbon dioxide in here until there's no longer a vacuum at all. We should be just slowly adding more and more carbon dioxide to this room now. Yeah, it's not much, but it should eventually make it so that there's never a vacuum in here. I, I don't think the vacuum really matters, but I don't really know for sure, so I'd rather be careful. And while that's happening, perhaps it's time to start trying to get my coolant circulating over there as well. What do we have here? 21 degrees? I think that's not bad. Now, to actually get that across there, we're going to need a couple bridges, so we'll just break this. And I should be able to stick a couple bridges in here. What am I trying to get to down over there? That's not so bad. I don't think I need this pipe any. Well, actually, we'll leave it. That pipe comes all the way down from the oil factory. So when we actually start doing that, it will be handy. All right, how are things looking in here? All right, that should be good. Let's turn this off. Deconstruct it, actually. We don't need it anymore, I don't think. Now, what I want to do with this room 
is keep it getting colder and colder and colder until it is oh my god why is this so hot whatever i want it to get colder and colder and colder until it is like 40 degrees or something like that i don't even know minus 48 is the condensing point we'll go to minus 40 maybe so to automate something like that i think we need a temperature sensor timer is there a temperature sensor? Gas. All right, I think I need gas pipe thermal sensor. Maybe it's this one. Let's try that. Automation wire. We'll hook this up to there. We want it to be on when this pipe has stuff in it that's not the right temperature. So let's see if we can actually figure out how to do that here. And I just realized this should all be insulated, shouldn't it? Or am I, I'm gonna end up in a huge problem. Everything outside. I can just delete these ones. Or this is never gonna work. All right, the system is finally working. We've got insulated pipes all around. This stuff's down to 10 degrees from 20. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think, to cool this room down. What are we at in here? Can I click on this? Oh, it's actually quite warm still. It's, it's cooling down though, it's cooling down. So the next thing we have to worry about then is actually hooking up our food thing. Um, and if this is where the ladder is going to come down, we could actually just hook the food thing up right here so they don't have to go so far. You know, let's just plug it in right there. Something like that. Maybe leave a little bit of room for a sweeper or something, maybe? I don't know. Let's get this out of here. We don't need these things anymore. I don't think we need those anymore. No, we shouldn't need those anymore. We can deconstruct these walls, actually, I think. All right, guys, so we've got the chiller room mostly done. I've brought the fridges down. I brought the electric grill down. I should disable this as the eating spot because as you can see here these guys are still thinking that this is the place to eat and it is not the place to eat anymore. So hopefully they will figure it out that they're supposed to be eating here now. Um, the stuff's not totally cold yet. Like this room isn't. It's only... Well, we're down to 10 degrees C, but that's still too hot. So I've had I have these refrigerators plugged in just temporarily. Once the room is cold enough, we can disconnect the wires and then hopefully between the sweeper and everything, this room hopefully should keep the food from going bad. I mean, we're going to find out. I was going to use this thing as an upgraded food source. We don't actually have the stuff that it's going to take to make this. We have to make fish somewhere, so we can't do that just yet. Tofu. Frost burger. Takes barbecue. Huh. It takes a whole bunch of stuff. We don't have that yet, so anyways, it's just plugged in, it's ready to go when we can eventually make some of that stuff. This is kind of annoying. I haven't found a better way to automate this yet. Like, getting stuff in and out of this room. Um... There's probably a way to do it. The in part is not so bad. I could have an auto sweeper that just pulls food that's cooked and shoves it back in there. That's not a problem. It's the getting the stuff out that is... That is kind of a pain in the butt. 
So I don't know if I want to have... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know an uh, elegant way to do this. It might just be what it is. You know what I'm saying? It might just be what it is. But, I mean, it's fine. It, it'll get the job done for now. It's, it's kind of annoying. These people have to, like, jump and go over and do all that. But, eh. It's better than the alternative of all of our food going bad. So, hopefully this fixes the issues we're having regarding food. Good call, by the way, guys. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna have to just hope for the best there, I think. And yeah, guys, we're gonna wrap that episode up right there. I hope you liked our cooler episode. It needs a little bit of work, but I think we're gonna get there. We're already starting to produce freezing temperatures, so that's great. This shouldn't take too much longer, and this room will be down to minus 40. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up if you're liking the series so far, and I'll see you next time.